let it drop. So the first pitch of the ball game is in there for a called strike. And he knows how to finish. He's a good guy that uses strike zone, right? He knows how to throw strikes. Yeah, everybody can swing the bat. I want you to keep your eye on Eric Stock. This is a guy that he knows how to use the whole field, but he stays in his legs so well. And he got him with that changeup. Curve on as well. That one is hit high down the left field line, chasing after it, Park, toward the corner, and he dropped the ball. It's a fair ball. He dropped it. I don't know if the sun was an issue or what. He got there. Say is a, call a traditional hard thrower. That's a fair ball. Pass the reach of Bowser down the left field line, and UConn's going to get on the board first. Uber smoked that one. It's a two-out double. Huskies take advantage of the error and take a one-nothing lead. Well, this is a, a mistake by Alex Williams here. This is a changeup that's supposed to be on the outer half of the play. You see catcher set up down and away, and that's just chest high right there. And Huber takes full advantage of smoking that thing down the left field line. And that one is hit to left. Park has to go back at the wall, leaps, and he caught it. Well, that's a make good. <laughs> Go figure. Drop a routine one and then steal a home run away. What a play. So they're buying just a little extra rest for Austin Peterson, and Pat gets the ball. Record 105 home runs for the Cardinal, and especially Xavier at the top of the lineup. They have huge power. Put the ball in play, started getting himself some knocks. That one called strike three. Gallagher gets the call. That same kind of spot. As that pitch and move on is important. 3-2 is ball four. Now that one a little bit low. Strike three called. Well, that pitch on the outside, maybe that's going to be a strike. Two down. And maybe his best baseball still ahead. He chops that one to first. Huber will take it for out number three. So a good start for Pat Gallagher. The DH, and he rips one to left. Park is going to watch it off the wall. Morton can fly. Park played the carom nicely. And the UConn will play a little more small ball. Forget that. T.C. Simmons to right. That's going to hop and up over the wall. Well, Morton will be allowed to score. Simmons has to stop at second. That's the third double already. And it's 2-0 UConn. That one is hit to left center field. Jones chasing and it is gone. And UConn is teeing off on Alex Williams. It's 4 nothing Huskies. I mean, we said it early. These guys are going to be coming in ready to hit. Right off the end of the bat, going to be a very tough play and no chance. He's too fast. Game adjustments and giving his team length. That one hit softly to short. Going to be another tough play and no chance again for Crampton. And that one to the gap in left center field. It's going to one hop up against the wall. Rounding third, that's Smith. Here comes Stock. The relay home is just late. A two-run double for Casey Dana. UConn's got a 6 nothing lead. Casey Dana does a great job putting a charge into this. Huber on the ground. That's Crampton. And he throws him out. And that one is pulled down the left field line. That is a fair ball. One hop up against the wall. Dana scores into second. Brian Padilla. 7 nothing. UConn. Well, we talked about Brian Padilla's ability to hit the inside pitch. It's Meyer now against Morton, who got this whole inning started, and he skies one to left. Park is going to watch it. It is over the trees. Corey Morton has a double and now a home run in this inning. And UConn is blowing Stanford out early. Nine nothing. Yeah. 
That's another hit for the Huskies. Simmons is two for two. He's got speed. Got him. Called strike three. Cody up, really good player on the ground and through. And Stanford's got its first hit. And he says it's it's clearly one of their best. Drew Bowser to right center field. It is gone. Opposite field power for a guy who's on a home run binge. And if we needed a reminder, there's a long way to go in this game. Yeah, this is college baseball, right? It, it, these guys know how to swing it. If there's a team that's been down and has put up big runs in a in a hurry, Stanford is that team. Flair for the big moment, that's for sure. Smokes out on the ground, but Zach Bushling fields it cleanly and throws him out. Out number one. Pretty incredible performance, and he's got another hit. Man, is this guy hot. We'll see if he tests the arm of Dana. He will. Dana didn't field it cleanly, so didn't get a test. That one is hit hard and caught by Eric Stock. Scrambling to get back Park. 3-2. That one is hit high and deep to right center field. Way back there. It is gone. And that was a booming home run. Stanford's back in this game. 9-4. The ball is flying at Sunken Diamond. I mean, just as quick as they gave him up in the top of the second. They're coming to get him back. Was flying. That was a courtesy look from Simmons. Graham first pitch swinging to short and Padilla throws him out. Well for UConn considering how the top of the second went. The bottom of the second. That first pitch swing ground ball toward the middle knocked down by Barrera. But Huber's going to beat it out. That was a tough play. Got him. With a leg injury, and he chases there, strike three. Went after the slider in the dirt. Second straight strikeout for Max Meyer. Had a really good regional, and he's two for two, and maybe has another one. Brock Jones chasing, and he's not going to get there. Up against the wall. Hubert chugging around third. Simmons trying for third, and the relay gets away. It's a triple for T.C. Simmons. He's three for three. And UConn adds another run. It's 10 to 4. And he lights that one into left field. Base hit. 11 to 4. And UConn is just not fooled whatsoever. Fastball. Meyer tries to run in side on the hands, but it just stays over the middle of the plate. Bouncer to second. Barrera throws out Bushling and Cody Huff can go back to the dugout. He got him to chase but the ball gets away and that sunken diamond for you. It's going to rattle and go out of play. Donlin's going to throw and he air mails it into right center field but the ball had already been called dead so they're going to force Bowser. That's a bad break for Stanford. They're going to force him to go back to first. On the ground and through with Huber, the first baseman, holding Bowser close. Bowser will stop at second. Big chopper to short. Padilla, nice pick. They get the out at second, but not the out at first. Now Bowser breaks for the plate. The tag out at home plate. Great play by UConn. Base running mistake when you're down seven. Got him. Threw him another changeup. It's still getting him to offer. And he got him to offer at that one. Strike three. Two. Barrera up the middle base hit. So two strike, two out hit for Brett Barrera. Two, two. Got him. Strike three called on the breaking ball. My home run taken away. That one's not even close. That's ball four. That one hit him. Right off the foot or ankle. 
up the middle. Flip for one and got him double play. That was an excellent turn by Adam Crampton. That one hit well. Left center field. Jones tracking. It is off the wall and almost out. Bushling missed a home run by just a foot or two. 2-2. Two -two. That one lined into center field, and that's going to be a hit. Jones will cut it off. Coming to third is Bushling. He will come in and score into second. David Smith, another double. Here's Eric Stock, and he lines a base hit to right field. Smith went back, so he'll have to hold. Montgomery's got the good arm. Another hit for the Huskies. This time just a little old single. That one smoked to right center. Brock Jones this time will track it down. Nice play in center field. Tagging Smith. He scores. Got Padilla to chase. Huff puts the tag out number three. Strikeout for Fleishley. For Stanford, 13 runs, 17 hits. That one into the gap in right center field. A diving attempt, and Dana couldn't catch it. Now the center fielder Simmons kind of overruns the ball. Crampton trying for third. The relay out at third. To go to third was just way too late. Now Brock Jones drives one to left center field and gone. His second home run of the game. And who knows? You never know if the same pitch is thrown, the same result, but that makes the out on the bases really hurt. It's a solo home run for Brock Jones. His 19th of the year. Very quiet. That one popped way up there. Does anybody see it? Yeah, they first baseman does Ben Huber luckily because a couple other guys didn't but it was Rodriguez who sent him that one is crushed by Barrera center field and gone man that one way up above that center field wall into the batter's eye another home run for Stanford their fourth of the night three and two Ninth pitch of the at bat, and it's ball four. So that's a good job by Adam Crampton. That one is driven to center field. Brock Jones goes deep for the third time tonight. Wow. And another one to left center. Massive power, and the game's not over. It's 13 to 8. Above. That's ball four. Well, that's going to drive UConn crazy. Got him with the slider. Montgomery hits that one well to right field. At the wall. Gone! A two run homer. It's 13 to 10. And the misplay over there in foul territory by 13 to 10. And he went around. That's strike three. So Willis gets the strikeout. One, two. Bowser crushes that one to right center field. And it's gone. The seventh home run of the night for Stanford. They still have a heartbeat. Down two. One more base runner to get the tying run to home plate. Stanford down to its final out. And Tommy Troy unloads. He's done it again. Incredible. A one run game. It's 13 to 12. Middle of the plate. That's ball four. Eddie Park takes a walk. Stanford's got the tying run on base. 2-2. Two -two. 
Got him swinging. And after all that, UConn hangs on for dear life. But an incredible win for the Huskies. On the road, a long way from home, and now just one win away from Omaha.